baby shower would be complete without friendly advice from moms who have been there. And here's one topic that I could use some help on as we prepare to welcome baby number two to our family. So what to do when you add another little personality to the mix and mom is outnumbered, not just in numbered, but outnumbered in time, in attention. This clip from the classic family comedy, Cheaper by the Dozen, sort of sums up what we're talking about. Take a look. What's wrong with you, mister? Everybody says the FedEx guy dropped me off because I don't fit in with this family. You fit. You fit right here. Like that. I call shotgun! Oh. Hide it! Hide it! All right, that's it. Hey, you two, knock it off. Mom's losing it, I'm losing it. Okay, so you don't have to have a dozen kids to feel overwhelmed. Whenever a new baby arrives, moms face a whole new challenge. Your time is suddenly split and shared, and the juggle to spread the love and attention gets tricky. Studio 5 contributor and mom of seven, Connie Sokol is here with advice on how to handle the attention divide that pulls moms in so many different directions. Everybody welcome Connie to the show. <laughs> I just said, this is where I just get to sit back you up because you're a fountain of oh, wisdom. You know what's funny sweet. about this though? Motherhood came a little bit later in my 20s and so mm -hmm. for about the last decade I feel like I've been coaching my sister and my girlfriends who have been worried about this divide and saying you're fine, you're fine <laughs> and now I'm having that panic like how am I going to do it and I only have two. Do moms worry about this a lot do you oh, find? Absolutely. I thought that was a whole movie at first. I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. because you do as a mom you feel guilty. You think I need everybody needs that attention and they're going to tell you they need it right now but you have to just get to a place where you recognize recognize when, who needs what, when, and that you're going to disappoint someone every day, and it's okay. So you're saying it's <laughs> it's okay. You're saying it's more about our mindset then than what's happening. Yes. In fact, studies are coming out with that. Washington Post just did this huge longitudinal study that was talking about time, and that time is a factor, but it's more about the quality of that time and the connection that we create in that time. And one of the big factors was the emotion of the mother. Now, I was like, oh, great. Now we have something else to feel guilty about. <laughs> you know, it doesn't mean we have to be Pollyanna, but it means, to me, that means that we acknowledge our feelings when we're with our kids sometimes they can really um, globalize oh mom's stress I'm stressing her out which is probably true but <laughs> but being able to say you know what mom's tired I've been helping a lot of people today but guess what I'm so stoked to be hanging with you let's read that book where you can identify that feeling so they know what it is they know it's not them maybe but then you can say okay I'm excited to be with you and then you can shift that emotion so it's not even about that old debate quantity versus quality mm -hmm. it's more about what's happening Inter inside here that's exactly right and how you're creating meaning in that moment in that time maybe you only have a few minutes for example I say the first five minutes are huge morning nighttime they're coming and going meal times eyeballs five minutes there was this sign I wish I had it was the other day I saw it on a post and it was some daycare some drop-off whatever anyway the people are, parents are picking up their kids and the sign said get off your phone it's appalling your child is trying to show you your paper and you're on the phone get off your phone and it was like oh. I feel threatened that's a good yes. yes, and it was good because I was like, oh my goodness, those moms. And then I was like, oh me, I'm sure I do that. You know, like just one second, it's probably right. a kid that's asking right. to be picked up. But that's exactly it is being able to put things down, five minutes, eyeballs, and they get that satiation. And using those pivotal points, those connection points, as, you, yes. as you've taught us over the years, the bedtimes, the mornings, the out the door yes. moments to really pause and Oh concentrate. yes, absolutely. And, and catching when they need them. Just last Friday, my preschooler was suddenly being all fussy and I was supposed to go to breakfast and I bring him with me, but it was a gal I hadn't seen in years and we finally had made this happen, but I could feel he just needed mom. And I was like, cause I don't want to offend her, but then I also want some quality time. And then I want to be able to satiate him. And finally I just texted her and I said, it's not not gonna fly he needs some mama floor time with Legos and she was like great we can do it Monday and I said super and we hung out and we had we were doing PJ masks and it was awesome <laughs> so it was wonderful so recognizing those signs recognizing the yeah. signs and then taking that moment to satiate them and then they'll be okay Connie you're a wonderful mother and an example to me and many others Connie Sokol everybody thank you so much thank you